Welcome to True Buds TV, or should I say the True Buds Bar, coming back at you. You guys know I did a cocktail series, maybe you don't. I did a cocktail series like probably years ago at this point with my own homemade simple syrup, but Pure Wana is going to make it 2.0. I actually scratched that, it should be 100.0 because this is a straight premium product we're going to get into in a second. Today we're going to make probably the most easy cannabis cocktail in the world that is a classic. The Founders Fizz. Let's go ahead and open our box up. Super cool box, shout out to our team on that. What's this? Founders Fizz card. Two ounces Fever Tree Tonic, two ounces Fever Tree Club Soda, and a lime. Let's start by taking those out. Most importantly, let's look at our Pure One, what we have in this box today. XJ13, 100 milligram box with 10 servings in each. So 10 milligrams per packet. And a green Venom OG, 2.5 milligrams per packet. We also have the yellow, which is a five milligram serving as well. And I do love the yellow and the greens because you know I have a high, higher tolerance, maybe you don't, but I do. So like I'll microdose during the day, piruana has got me microdosing, or I'll like double, triple, quadruple up to get that extra terpy flavor because the terps in this are on point. Coming from like a bar background and mixing ingredients, I'm telling you, there's nothing like it in the game. So I feel like I should read this because it's here. You guys know I know about it obviously because I work for piruana and I'm all about it, but let's read it here. Piruana is a dry crafted spirit from live cannabis. Crafted from premium sun-grown flour, Pirwana is a strain-specific powder that captures all of the unique and delicate terpenes and cannabinoid compounds inherent to each of them. Pirwana is the only live resin powder on the market, just truly changing the game. I told you I'm going to read it and I'm already hopping in. So Pirwana is truly changing the game in that regard. And not knocking any other beverages, a lot of them have, you know, made the way and helped introduce people to ingesting beverages with the nanotechnology. However, Pirwana is different in the fact that we are the only true to strain drink in the game on the market. We're the only ones who can offer this. So I don't know if you can see it from right there, probably on this camera. This new display we're launching has five different strains of three different potencies you could fit. You could get a light 2.5, a single yellow, five milligrams, or you could do a double with the red. Today I might do two reds in mine. It's been a long week. Happy Saturday to you guys if you're watching this on the same day that I'm making it. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get the Founders Fizz going. Crack the soda. Ooh, little bubbles there. Crack the tonic. Then we're simply just gonna place about two ounces of each. Now you can add the ice first if you like. This is just how I was always trained when I was bartending, so it's just my style. My go-to is to do it this way. I create the cocktail first with most of the ingredients, then I shake it with ice. Obviously it has bubbles in here, so I'm not gonna shake it. So let's go ahead and pop open our XJ13. Like I said, going big today, 20 milligrams, and this is the beauty of it. Somebody like myself, if you have or haven't watched my stuff, I eat edibles, or I used to every day. So I have a really high tolerance for the most part. Like my sweet spot with edibles is like 30, 20 to 40 milligrams, depending on the edible. I find if it's a rosin gummy, I can go a little less. With that being said, I like to do more sometimes if I truly want to like zonk out. But the beauty of this is it hits consistent every time. 20 milligrams, I'm still gonna feel. It's meant to be sessioned. It's not, it, it's meant to be like a drink or having a smoke, more, more so like having a cocktail. You're supposed to find your tolerance throughout the night. So if I was going out, I'd probably just do one but today we're gonna to do two. And you'll see when I pour it in here, the crazy part about it is like, it's all factor. Like I actually usually stir it, but I don't have a stirrer on hand for this video. And I don't wanna go out of frame and grab it right in my backpack that I'm looking at. So let's just go ahead, pour up our, that's 20 milligrams of XJ13, strain specific in a powder form. So. When you smell it, get that aroma of the plant. This is actually what I smelt on my job interview. Shout out to Mark. He poured it up for me and I was like, am I smelling a bag of flour? 
now I'm just smelling some premium live product and a water soluble powder. So there we go. I'm gonna add just a touch more of soda. I'm a soda guy. I got my ice right here. I'm gonna simply fill it up with ice. Like I said, you can do you. If you prefer to add the ice first, go ahead. This is just me trying to make an easy video for you guys. And we have to add the lime. You know, the easiest thing to do is probably just to cut the lime and put it in. You guys know I'm a little fancy pants sometimes. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm a pretty classic guy, but I bought this really nice peeler, so I want to use it. So what I'm going to do is do a lime zest. And it makes it look a little cooler, like I said, a little fancier. So I'm just going to squeeze that in here. And the beauty of this is you get the sparkles from the tonic and soda, touch of sweetness from the tonic, and then you're just left with the strain coming through too. So it's an easy way to make, you know, that craft cocktail experience in a way with tasting the strain. And obviously you're gonna get the effect. You get the effect if you threw it in a sugary lemonade. But the beauty of this, the strain still comes through. I still get those terps from the XJ13 on the back end. And there's a reason that this is the Founders Fizz, like I said, our founders drink this. And I like my go-to is this now, but also even more than this, to be straight up with you, I just put it in water most of the time. I like getting hydrated while drinking it. The taste of the terps is still there straight up in water. It's like a fresh terpene water to me. It's like my favorite water in the world. I'd drink it in every water if I wouldn't get it too damn high all the time, just to be straight up with you. Mm -mm -mm. So damn good, refreshing, great weekend drink. Chill out with your friends, drink some Piruana, have fun. And if you wanna learn more about the man behind the recipe, the founder, Matt Cohen, check his stuff out. He's a super OG in the game, grower. He actually had the first legal grow in NorCal, you know, trying to work with the government, trying to make things better. Long story short, he still got raided, um, but he's been in the game ever since. So I learned so much from him every day, seeing him maneuver, seeing what he knows in the space is just amazing. And that's why I'm so happy to get on board, not only because I can hold my head up high when I walk around talking about Piruana, but just knowing we have these growers, like Matt, our CEO, we have Topaz going out to check the fields. We source our product from NorCal, premium outdoor sun-grown flower, like I just read earlier. And the beauty of that is, is our team checks it. We don't use the bottom of the barrel bullshit. We use the top, we use the head nugs. We use the most beautiful nugs on there, and we put them in this powder form coming to you to maintain the terps, the cannabinoids, to maintain that profile of the plant so you can get a pure experience without blazing up if you don't, you know, especially if you're somewhere where you can't. I always like trying places where, I, or doing it in places where, I, you know, I wouldn't blaze a joint. Restaurants, out at the movies the other day, at a Dodgers game, like, everybody, I get excited when people are like, yo, I smoke flour, man. I, I don't know if I, like, want to try that. I'm like, dude, Everybody who smokes flour who's actually tried this loves it because they see they get that entourage effect, they get that high, they get the turp.